is Tara Lynn. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I am so happy to have you guys a part of this journey with me. I am so excited about today's video. I'm going to share with you guys one of my favorite makeup looks when I am going on a holiday, whether it's Thanksgiving. Now Christmas, I go a little bit out there on Christmas. Christmas is kind of the season to sparkle, but Thanksgiving, I like to keep those brown fall taupey type shades in my eyeshadow looks. I also don't like to put a lot of makeup on just because you're seeing family members that you haven't seen in a while and you don't want them to look at you like you've lost your ever love in mind and then you got the grandparents over there like whispering behind your back that you've lost your mind yeah you don't you just don't want that so I like to keep it very beautiful very elegant kind of bringing in those rustic shades this look is one of my favorite looks to create with my soft glam palette I'm so excited to share it with you guys it is my go-to favorite look I've, I've created this look many times with that palette and I'm excited to share it with you guys before I move into the tutorial I just wanted to wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving I hope you guys have a fantastic and safe wonderful holiday with your friends and family to all of those out there in the military and those that are fighting fires that are not going to be able to spend Thanksgiving with their family my prayers are with you we just appreciate everything that you do for us so without further ado let's jump right into the video I'm gonna show you guys how I created this gorgeous look and yeah that's just what we're doing today so I hope you guys enjoy it and let's jump right into the video I put on a facial mask earlier today and I left it on for about 20 minutes Whenever I'm doing a holiday or a special event, I always wear a mask. Even though I have a lot of discoloration on my face right now, I still feel like it's really plump. And once I put the makeup on, it will just get more and more plump. I always recommend that whether it's a holiday, a special occasion, whatever it is, the morning of, put a facial mask on. Now I know that there's tons from various different brands. My favorite is the Tatcha. I do feel like I get the best from the Tatcha facial masks, but I do know that they're super pricey. So I also have tried the ones from Walmart. I think they're called Yes, maybe? I'll put a picture right here. I can't I can't think off the top of my head what they're called. But those I've really enjoyed. Um, I don't know that I get the best results from them. On a budget and in a pinch, they work just fine. So I'm rubbing in the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I'm dry right now. It is the, it's kind of, you know, it's November-ish, so it's starting to get a little bit dry where I live. And this is when my skin starts to really kind of take a nosedive as far as that goes, especially because I'm still currently using a retinal cream and retinal creams, oh my gosh, they dry my skin out. Now I'm just putting on my Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury and I love this product because it gives that glow from within for me. It's one of my all time favorite face products. Not only does it even out my skin, I mean you can see that instant glow from here to here you can see the difference. Not only does it give me that instant glow, but it also evens out my skin tone and just, it works so good. This is not the day to be testing out new foundations. You, if you're trying out a new foundation and you've maybe worn it a couple days, it's still not the day to wear it. You need to go to your OG, the one that you know works, the dependable foundation. I'm gonna use this one from Too Faced. This is the Born This Way. I have it in the shade Sand, and I really love this foundation. It looks really good on the skin, and I can make one pump like go all over my face. So I like it because it's very dependable, and I love the way it makes my skin look. I'm going to take my flat kabuki brush from Sigma, and we're just going to put that all over my face. I mean, a little bit goes a really long way. You don't need very much of this foundation. Like it, I just dipped down into it and I'm spreading it all over the face. Now I kind of have it spread out evenly on the face. Now I'm gonna go in with a sponge and just really work that into the skin. Pick up any extra product that's sitting on top of the skin and just really blend that in. You want your skin to be as skin-like as possible. You don't wanna show up at a holiday party with like 
like thick, crazy looking makeup. Now I'm gonna move on to my brows and my brows are a pain in the butt to do. I don't particularly like doing them on camera just because they take a long time. I can't talk while I'm doing them, but I'm gonna tell you the products that I use. So I typically take my legendary brows from Charlotte Tilbury. It has this tiny little wand. Now, if you guys have thicker, fuller brows, I don't know that you would love this product like I do, but if you have thinner brows, this has been like a, this has been a game changer for my brows. If you go back into some of my older videos, like from just a couple of months ago, you can see that my brows just look really nat. They just don't look very good. They're kind of dark and I don't like them. This product has kind of changed my brow game and I've really liked my brows since I started using this. I use the shade Supermodel. It is a medium brown. So I put the product through the brow and then I take a spoolie and kind of go through and make sure that I don't have any clumps, but you can already see a difference and it's such a good product. I absolutely love it. It's $22.50 and it's worth every penny. So then what I like to do is I like to take this marker from MAC. I don't remember what this is called. All the writing has rubbed off of it. I will put it here at the bottom. It's a brow marker. And I like to just go in and create hair-like strokes. Just real easy, very simple. It gives me those hair-like strokes without being the pencil. So I really enjoyed this marker and I actually like creating the hair strokes with this more than I do the actual pencil. There's something about this that just, it's a little bit more on the natural side and they do have several shades to choose from. And once I get it to where I want it, I set it with the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. Now let's move on to concealer. So I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Concealer. I'm gonna put this right along this part of the eyes, okay? So that's where I like that concealer. And then I love the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. And I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna just gonna put a stripe right here. And I like that closer to the eye and just start kind of working those in. But those two concealers have been really nice together. I love the Cover FX Power Play. It's a good concealer. Um, it's a little bit light, but the Charlotte Tilbury works good because it's um, a little bit darker, so it's not super light. I'm gonna go ahead and take this concealer to do my eyes. I love this. This is my favorite eye primer. It's stupid, really, it's stupid expensive to use it for that, but whatever. This is the KKW Beauty Concealer, and this is also a really good concealer. I don't know if you guys have ever tried this concealer, but it is nice. It really is a nice concealer. It's just expensive to order from her website because you gotta pay $8.95 for shipping and it's, I hate it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this as my eyelid primer. Kinda carve out those brows. I did my brows a little bit bushy today, so I kinda wanna carve out the bottom line and kind of leave the top a little bit more bushy. I ordered the P. Louise eyeshadow base and I think I ordered it like a month and a half ago. It still hasn't arrived. I don't know where the hell it's at, who knows. Because this is kind of like a special occasion, as you guys know, I don't wear a lot of powders on my face, but the one powder that I do love is the one from Hourglass. I like to use my sponge, my damp sponge. It's not wet, it's damp. And I like to go down into the product and then just start kind of stamping that into the skin. Like you really wanna really stamp, 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 stamp. Like you don't wanna use a lot. You want this to go a long way. So I'm just kind of stamping it. And that's what's nice about this powder is it's pretty lightweight for being a powder. But I'm doing this because I want my foundation to last a really long time. You know, I'm gonna be help, you know, during Thanksgiving, I'm gonna help my parent, my mom cook, and I just don't want my, I don't want to have to worry about my foundation just being a mess. And the only time that I really do that is when I really want my foundation and my base to stay put. But because I'm dry, this is about the only powder I can wear. Okay, so I have some here on the sponge. I'm gonna take the little sponge that I applied my concealer with and really get rid of the creases.
Now what's also nice about that hourglass product is that I can contour over top of it with the liquid contour and I'm okay. So I'm gonna take this from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the contour wand and I think I got this in fair medium. So I still have some in the sponge, so I'm just gonna press this on, kind of carve out those cheekbones. I'm gonna take my sponge and blend that out. Kind of pushing up as I'm doing it. I'm gonna put a little bit right here to carve out my nose, define it, put a little bit here, give me some extra oomph of a lip because I don't have a lip. I have a couple of bronzers that I really love and this one I'm gonna use from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. Because I contoured, I'm gonna use this brush. This is the Sigma Large Powder Brush, the F30. And I'm going to go over top of that contour and kind of bring that life to the face, but still continuing to keep that line. I don't wanna like ruin my contour, that would not be good. I'm gonna take this blush from Joey. This is the Adore Me Blush Duo. This is my favorite blush. Oh, I love it. So I'm just gonna take my blush brush. This is my E4 from Morphe. And I'm dipped back and forth between those two shades and bring some of that life back to my face. Now I use an excessive amount of blush because truthfully, that's the first thing that fades on my face is my blush for some reason. Blush just does not want to stay. Now this one does, like this one lasts longer than other blushes, but I love blush. I can't help it. I love it. And I always top out the edges with my sponge because I don't want any harsh lines. I am going to put on this from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Beauty Light Wand right over top of my cheekbone and highlight It's so pretty. It's just that natural. Now, because I have a short stubby nose, I'm gonna put highlighter all the way down my nose. Now, if you have a longer nose and you don't and you wanna shorten it, don't do that. Now, for the regular highlighter, I'm just gonna go into this part of the bronzer just because it's sitting out and I'm just gonna pop this over top. My final step is from Hourglass. This is the Ambient Lighting Palette. This is one of my favorite palettes of all time. I take my Luxie 514 brush and I go all the way in between all of those colors and I just place this all over my face. It's kind of like a nice highlighter for the face. Now don't get too carried away with this because you know how you see those people that look like they have a glazed donut on their face? That's probably because they use too much of this product. I like to just use it just to bring a little bit of that glow without overwhelming the face. All right, now let's spray it. So I'm gonna take the Morphe setting mist and just kind of set this all into place. Oh, I love that mist, it's so good. Okay, so I asked you guys on my community tab which palette you guys wanted me to use for this tutorial and 55% voted for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. So here she is, I'm super excited. I am never mad at pulling this palette out. And I am so glad you guys voted for it because secretly that's the one I wanted to use, which is probably the reason why I listed it first. But I love this palette. This is like a go-to palette for whenever I really wanna create a beautiful fall look. I mean, you can see these shades are just perfect for that like holiday, Thanksgiving, fall eyeshadow look. So for the holidays, at Christmas, I go a little bit more with the reds or the greens or whatever, but during Thanksgiving, I always like my eyeshadows to be very beautiful, but also very wearable and very kind of eye-catching without being overwhelming. So that's kind of the look that I'm gonna go for today. I'm gonna take my Morphe M506 brush and I'm gonna dip back and forth between orange soda and burnt orange. So I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth between those two shades. They mix really well together. And I'm gonna use this kind of as a transition 
fact, I should probably use the fluffy end of this brush. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch brushes. I'm gonna use the fluffy end of the brush that comes in the palette. And I'm gonna kind of just mix those two together. Use this as a nice transition all over my crease. And I'm kind of dragging it out a little bit. There's something wrong with my brush. Can you see? It's like, I think it was, that's what I don't like about double-ended brushes. That they sit down inside and they just kind of ruin it. Ugh. I'm going to try to work with it, but it's kind of crooked. I might have to get it wet and like rewash it because I don't know if this is going to work. All right, now I'm going to take those two shades and I'm going to bring it along the lower lash line. I like this brush, but see how it like, it's just bent and it's just kind of hard to use. I'm going to switch back to my M506 and kind of just go back and forth again. And I'm using that just to really build up that crease. And then whatever's left over, I'm just bringing it again along the lower lash line. All right, now I'm going to take the shade Sienna, which is right next to it. And I'm going to concentrate this more on the outer corner. Now, again, when you're using an ABH palette, I highly recommend tapping it off because their shadows are very powdery. They blend beautifully, but they're powdery and you run a risk of getting fallout. So I am going to basically bring this in the crease, but concentrating it on this outer corner. And then whatever's left over, I'm kind of bringing it in. But I want most of that color to be on this outer corner. Going back in a second time and just kind of buffing that in. I am going to take this end of the ABH palette and I'm going to go into this shade Sienna. Tapping it off and I'm going to bring it along the lower lash line. Kind of just doing that like buffing motion. I love this palette. This is definitely my favorite palette from ABH. It's definitely my favorite. Okay, I'm gonna go back into Orange Sona and Burnt Orange and kind of bring in that back to life over top of Sienna just so that we don't lose those transition shades. Okay, now I'm gonna take that stiff end of the brush, okay? And I'm gonna go into Cypress Ember, which is this one right here. It's kind of a, like, kind of a dark gray shade. And I'm gonna pack this on this outer corner and I'm going to pack it up here in the crease. Whatever's left over on the brush, I'm bringing it a little bit into the crease but not very far. Now I'm going to take the fluffy end of the brush and just kind of blend that in. I'm going to go into the shade Mulberry. It's this really pretty like mulberry shade and I'm using that stiff end of the brush and I'm going to go over top of everything that I just did with that Cypress Umber, bringing whatever is left over on the brush into the crease, just like I did before. Then I'm gonna take the fluffy end of the brush and kind of blend that out. I'm gonna grab this brush from Sigma. This is the E15. And I'm gonna go into Cypress Umber and then into Mulberry. But I'm gonna go into Cypress Umber first and I'm gonna kind of smoke this out. Okay, wipe the brush off. And then I'm going to blend that in. Now I'm going to go into Mulberry. Now I'm going to take this liquid eyeshadow from Wonder Beauty. This is in the shade Champagne. It's so gorgeous, you guys. I love the shade. I love it so much. I'm going to have a brush like this, you know, just kind of like a nice concealer brush. I'm going to have this on hand and I'm going to paint this on my eyelid okay and then i'm gonna take that concealer brush and carve it out and then i take whatever's left over and kind of blend it into the shadows i'm gonna take with my finger i'm gonna go into the shade glistening this one right here and i'm gonna pop that right in the middle okay and then I'm just gonna kind of take that concealer brush and just kind of, I just really want that to pop. Oh, so flippin' pretty. All right, let's go back to the stubby end of the brush. I'm gonna go into the shade Sienna, but I'm gonna mix between burnt orange and Sienna. And I'm going to kind of fade that into that line. I need to get rid of that line. 
So mixing in between burnt orange and sienna will really help to diffuse that line. And then I'm gonna go back in and just kind of do that over top. I'm gonna take this brush from Morphe Jaclyn Hill Collection. This is the JH42 brush. And I'm gonna go back into the highlighter that I used, the one from the bronze, whatever it's called. I can't think of what it's called. The Filmstar Bronze and Glow. And I'm going to pop this on my brow bone right here. Now, if you're ever using a palette and it really doesn't have a light shade like that to make it really pop, I always recommend going into what you used for your highlighter and use it as a brow bone and it will kind of bring everything together. And now I'm going to, now I sprayed it. So I went ahead and used that product and now I've sprayed it and I'm going to put this on the inner corner. Now I just went ahead and put some eyeliner on. I'm using the one from Urban Decay. This is the 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. I'm using black just because I'm going to put lashes on and I figured I would just go ahead and put that on. Now you could probably do a dark brown. I really need to get a good dark brown eye pencil. The one I'm using is kind of like... I don't know, it's just kind of hit and miss. So now I'm just gonna put some mascara on my lashes and then I'm gonna put some falsies on. This mascara I'm using, this is new, I'm trying it out. This is the Wonder Extensions Lash Extensions Stain Mascara. So we're gonna try this out. For lashes, I'm gonna use these from Lily Lashes. These are a uh, limited edition. I don't know if they're still in stock. Um, I will put a, a link in the description box down below. If I wasn't going to put these on, I would probably put on the House of Lashes, either the Allura Lights or Iconic Lights. I just like to put a little bit of glue right here along the lash band. Now the trick to this is apply glue and then blow on it and let it dry. You want it to be like three quarters of the way dry before you go on because if you go on with wet glue, it will make a mess. These lashes are like nice and fluttery. They're not over, they're not overwhelming on the eye, um, but they just kind of enhance the eye look without overtaking my eyes. I'm not gonna use this on the lower lash line because I don't know how this is gonna look. And again, I'm trying out this new mascara and you never wanna try out anything on a special day like that. So I'm gonna grab my Chanel mascara. This is a mascara that I know won't leave me with raccoon eyes. It won't make a mess under my eyes. It stays put and it's a really nice lash mascara. But I am gonna put on my Dior, um, this is the Triple Volume Plumping Lash Primer. So I'm gonna put that on first. And this just kind of gives some thickness to your real lashes. I've noticed that if you kind of let this dry a little bit, then go in with your mascara, it works out so much better. But I do like to take a spoolie and make sure that my real lashes are kind of separated. Now I'm gonna go in with that mascara from Chanel. When I want my lippy to last a really long time and kind of fade off naturally, and like if I don't wanna wear a nude lip, this is one of my favorite things to do. So I just take any old lip liner, whatever shade you like. For this look, I think I'm gonna use this one from KKW Beauty. This is a nude number three. It's the darkest shade in the nude collection. And I'm trying to find dupe for these because these are only $12, but with shipping it's $8.95 and it's ridiculous. These are some of the best lip liners as far as the shades go, but my gosh, they're just expensive to order from her website. So what I like to do is kind of outline the lip and then I'll take and draw a few lines, like right here. Okay. And then I'll take a lip brush. This one I think is from e.l.f. or Buxom. No, this came in I think like a, maybe like, an, uh, like a lip palette or something. But I like to take a brush and just start blending that out. I just keep kind of working it until I get it where I want it. This will last a really long time. Like, I've had this just last for several hours and it just kind of fades away very naturally. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now, for those of you guys that don't have the Soft Glam Palette in stock, I have a really good recommendation that will really help you guys try to achieve a similar look. So go ahead and take a screenshot of the Soft Glam Palette and then, 
go through and mark down the shades that I used in this tutorial. Go through all of your palettes throughout your collection, it doesn't matter what it is, and go through and pick shades that are as close to those shades as you can get, and then create the look from there. You don't have to have the Soft Glam palette. It's a very good tool to try to recreate somebody's look without having to spend extra money to go buy a palette or whatever it is. So I hope that tip helps you guys. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving with your family and friends. I pray for all of those who cannot spend the day with their family and friends. You guys are all in my prayers. If you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support you guys show me in my channel. It truly means a lot to me. I hope you guys have a fantastic day filled with love, happiness, and joy. I love you guys so much.